Good evening, YouTuber. Uh, this is my circuit I'm using for balancing the super capacitor I have, which is 500 farad, 2.7 volt, and uh, I'm using three diodes series across each capacitor, and I'm using here one and four no, four oh oh one, and uh, it seems that they got hot, so I think it should be we should use. Uh, some big diode like that one that get three amps this one is only one amp so and i also using here the lead diode across each capacitor just to indicate that that i have the voltage across the capacitor is above 1.9 volt these are my capacitors and these are six and i'm connecting them in series this is my circuit these are the diodes and this is the LEDs as you can see here that I'm, have, I'm having here two capacitors that are above 1.9 volt in fact I have this voltmeter across this capacitor and it's reading 2 volt and these four capacitors I draw them on purpose just to show you the how they how the circuit is balanced and uh, I'll start charging and uh, I'm using here I want to have the voltage to be 15 volts so I'm using here this voltmeter this is across all the capacitors and this voltmeter is across this first capacitor here and which is reading 1.62 so we have different voltmeters here and uh, we got here also how much amp we were drawing so I adjust that on one amp and uh, we will start charging okay as you can see we have one amp 1.001 and so we are charging here we are charging here and here I know it's boring to to shoot a video <laughs> with, with a long process that's why I make the voltage is uh, not zero but here I make a different voltage so we can see how the the circuit can balance the charging these six capacitors on series. I think if it's only three diodes, that will be better. And uh, if we can use this diode I have here, this one, it's one end. 5408 so 3 amps diode and if you can use three of them on each capacitor they will be very nice because then we will not get any hot on the diodes as you can see that here this capacitor is 1.9 and the lead has been lit already and this one also the third one on the right also has been charged it's difficult for me to move the voltmeter and read all the capacitors voltages so that's why I'm using the only three voltmeters here here we can compare this voltage with the voltage here on the power supply here you can see that is 13.1 and here it's 12.97 and this is the correct reading so here we got 2.40 for this two capacitors or oh sorry for the second capacitor and uh, I'll see how much will be the maximum voltage for this capacitor and you can see that the difference between this capacitor and this one is about 35 uh, sorry 0.35 of volt I 
I've noticed that uh, the voltage will not be more than 2.62 and then it'll go back and uh, to balance the circuit and till all of them between 2.5 and 2.6 and which is good because uh, it's not good to charge the capstar for the maximum value which 2.7 that will uh, make the 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 life of the capacitor less if you can char charge it less than the value rated then you can get long long life maybe hundred thousands of charge and discharge so we have here 2.55 and I will see I want to see the different and how we can make the the balancing or how can the circuit can make the, the, the balancing I tried so many setups for this for charging these capacitors without any dangerous because you know if, when I start charging these capacitors on series I found that one of the capacitors reached 3.2 and the others still on 2.5 so this is not good this will make this also dangerous and and if it not if it not make the capacitor explode, then it will make the the life of the capacitor less. So here, two point six one, and here two point four three. As you can see here, that the charging here is faster than the charging here, and this is the balancing, two point four four, two point six one. As you can see that the, the we are charging on 0.6 amp and here you can see that the voltage go back 2.59 and here 2.46 I wish we can get more voltage more voltmeters on across each capacitor but it's not easy for me I have the voltmeters but uh, there's no place for connecting all these voltmeters on the capacitor, but we can make some samples here. And so, I'm putting on the first capacitor here, and now it's 2.47, and this is 2.49. This is the balance now. You can see. Two point five five. This is two point five. So as you can see here that this is the balancing we need. And this will keep our capacitor long, long life. 2.53 2 2.51 Okay, as you can see that this is working and it's working good. So, don't forget to use this circuit here three diodes in series across each capacitor the lead diode I don't think it's needed it's just for indicate when you put this circuit in a box then you need light for you know to check that this capacitor has been charged or not okay 2.52 2.52 thanks for watching